and welcome back to my channel. Today is Tag Thursday and for this Tag Thursday I'm going to be doing the last 10 books tag and I will put the creators of this tag down below in the thingamajigger. Um, there are 10 questions and I'm not going to lie, I don't have answers to all of them because I just... I just don't, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the questions. The first one is the last book you didn't finish. Um, I'm not really one to DNF books in all honesty, even if I find that I'm not enjoying the book, I'm still like, I need to finish it. I just need to finish it. So I'm not really, I don't really DNF books anymore, to be honest, but... Yeah, I have, a, I have a book in this pile that I did DNF, like, probably a year and a half ago, and I think it was the last one I've ever DNF'd, but I'm using it for a different question, so we're just not, we're not going to talk about that one now. Um, I definitely have a few books that I kind of felt like I should have DNF'd. I recently read um, Sky in the Deep, and I didn't like this book at all. If you watched my books I read this month for that month, yeah. <laughs> did not like it, found it really boring, so I'm like, I really should have de just DNF'd it because even the ending to me just wasn't what I wanted it to be, so probably should have DNF'd that. Number two is the last book that you reread, and I don't reread books very often, although I keep telling myself I need to reread like Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. Um, the last book I read, they had a spookathon last year. I hope they're doing it again this year because I liked Spookathon, Halloween's my favorite holiday, um, and I reread Trick or Treat Murder, and um, I didn't realize this is like kind of, it's not like a series like you need to read every single one to know what's going on, but like it's all in the same world if you will. Um, yeah, this is the only one that I own. When I looked up the author, I realized that there were more like this. I was just like, need to look that up but I had read this as a teenager and for Spookathon I decided to include it I think it followed the like something orange on the cover was the theme for that question something like that um yeah so I picked this one and I reread it and I still liked it so there's that Question number three is, the last book you bought? Um, the last book I bought is Fierce Like a Firestorm. This is the second book to Wicked Like a Wildfire, and um, you will see in my August wrap-up kind of more about that one. But I had pre-ordered this one before I read that one. It's kind of a dumb mistake. Um, <laughs> long story short, wasn't too thrilled with Wicked Like a Wildfire. I gave it two out of five stars. So I'm hoping the second one will be better. But I also kind of wish I hadn't pre-ordered it at the same time. But it is the last book that I purchased. Number four is the last book you said you read but didn't. And um, this book is called The Nine Tailors. And um, this is the last book that I DNF'd. Again, I, I don't know any other books that I've really DNF'd. Um, yeah. I just, I think it was mostly the writing style of this kind of threw me off. Um, I don't know, it's kind of, it has more of an old timey feel to the writing style itself. Um, I don't know, I just wasn't that big of a fan of it. And yeah, I remember talking about it on my blog the month that I had read it. And yeah, I... I didn't finish it. The next question is last book you wrote in the margins of? I don't write in the margins of books, so... Nope. <laughs> uh, question number six is the last book you had signed. I've actually never gone and like had an author sign a book. I've always bought signed copies online. Um, the last one I have is Grace and Fury. This came in my owl crate. So... Y'all just saw this, but yeah, this is the last signed one that I have received. A bookmark just fell out. But um, yeah, definitely excited to read this, and I'm not even going to get to it in September. I know I'm not when I do my September TBR, because I have too many on my list already. I don't know when I'm going to be able to read it, but it looks really good. Number seven is the last book you lost, um, which again... I haven't really lost any books. I've definitely lent books out that I never got back. Does that count as losing them? Because um, if it does, 
That's happened quite a few times to me. Number eight is the last book that you had to replace. Um, this one is easy. I actually lent out a book to my mom and she said her dog chewed it up. And um, yeah, I had to replace it. It is Three Dark Crowns. I love this series. The um, third one is about to come out, which I did pre-order and I'm super excited. I'm planning on reading it in September. Like as soon as it gets here, I'm reading it. It needs to happen. Um, yeah, I adore this series and I think I saw a lot of hype around it for a while and I was like, meh, 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 meh. And then I read it and I was like, I understand the hype. It is a fantastic fantasy novel about these um, three sisters. They are triplets and on this island, um, every generation their triplets born and when they reach a certain age they have to fight each other to the death to become queen and it happens every generation and every one of them has uh, special abilities and it's just it's so good I love it everybody needs to read it so yeah I had to replace it even though I've already read it I just like it it needed to be there by the second one <laughs> Number nine is the last book you had an argument older over, and I really could not think of an answer to this question because I feel like I don't ever argue with people about books. By the way, if you're seeing this and you're like, why is there this huge space? I pulled out a bunch of books for my September TBR, so just, yeah, in case you're wondering what that is. I looked in the viewfinder and I saw that and I was like, wow, that's obnoxious. Um, yeah, so I don't really fight over books people like we all have different opinions on things it's fine like if I like something and you don't or vice versa like I don't really argue over books um uh, number 10 is the last question it says the last book you couldn't get a hold of um the only thing that I could think of that was remotely close to this was when I was in New York City and I went to Books of Wonder and they had this huge section of like old like first edition signed and like and these books were stupid expensive and um I was just like what what like I was just standing there staring at them um but obviously not buying them because they were super expensive and I was like this is the closest thing I can get to couldn't get my hands on a book that I can think of because I don't know I don't know what to answer for that other than that instance where I was just like too expensive. <laughs> so that is now it for this video. If you guys have a channel and you would like to do this tag, let us know down below so we can check out your video as well. And if you did like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My links are the thingamajigger. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye!